Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we spent a fair amount of time and resources pretty much redoing half of the top and bottom of the facility. Originally when we built this small section here which was actually just up to there we had everything squeezed in around here so from the chapel we had the the library, the mail room, a classroom, and two paroles. So it was all sort of squeezed in. Now, it turned out that we didn't need parole because we, well, the criminal insane inmates don't get parole, or if they do, it, well, it just didn't work. You can see it says 26 prisons of parole. Criminal insane inmates don't get parole. They don't go to it. I don't know whether that's a bug or whatever, but either way, that's how it is. We didn't have the library because even though it was built, it couldn't be staffed because the criminal insane inmates don't work. The mail room did work and was quite good, so correspondence was being dispatched to the prisoners. But what would happen is essentially we'd have to have our staff working there, which was a bit of a problem. Why won't that go in there? That's very strange. The wall light will go there, but it won't go on that side. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, we also had the the classroom as well built, but it, it was ne wasn't ever used because we didn't have any of the community inmates doing programs there because they don't, and also the staff we're not really rolling out any training. But now that we have the regular non-criminally insane, uh, insane inmates, in this case low risk inmates, it now is really time, was time for an expansion. So we've expanded classroom, mail room, library, and added a shop, which means now that hopefully more stuff will be working and overall we'll just have more stuff in the prison, like needs being fulfilled because there should be luxuries getting bought and traded, even though these guys haven't got money I think trading can still happen and overall it uh, hopefully will be better either way, this episode we want to build this cell block, I was not I was originally unsure on what sort of cell block to build, but I think it's going to be a low risk one, just because it seems to fit in over on the left hand side here and with the design and all of the criminally insane wings, the three of them are near the treatment areas and such, whereas round here we don't really have one, so it just fits it a bit better. Going to go over to grants and then to increase our bank loan to a nice 50 grand there, over to our quick build and cloning, and we will clone there to there. Oh, no, that's a problem. I was going to clone just to there, but if I do that, we won't get all the lights in, whereas if I do that, it will re I'll have to redo all of this, but it should function okay, but we'll see how we get on. Just going to double check deployment there and the patrols. Patrols are actually running fine. That's okay. That's what I want to check. You can see I've preemptively put the walkway around there in the different color as well, so that's now fine. We are getting prisoners released early so that is pretty good obviously this is going to get shouted at because it isn't enclosed because we removed that wall and that means that the designations has been changed so we'll have to sort that out there is our psychologist there and it will say no rooms available until i double check our regime no uh, programs and no equipment available it's currently locked up so i can reschedule all programs and then start as many as i can no regime time slot for that what i'll do is go to staff psychologist place another psychologist and then go one two three because there's loads of people that need to be in the queue there so again gonna cost money but it's worth it it's treatment it's what we're all about we need to do that. Psychiatric consultation, only one in the queue. 33 treated there and none in the queue, so we're just going to remove a couple of those. Not doing workshop safety, not doing kitchen health and safety. And I don't know why... Ah, I know why I keep saying one in the queue and then stops. That's because it's based on their agitation level. So, like Gaskin there, who was just sort of punching around the air, uh, they've got no agitation level. Have they got... No, they've got a little bit of agitation. You can see it's... Uh, well, you can hardly see it. it's in the white there. There you go. You see it much better now. But it's not into the orange. As soon as it goes into the orange or that sort of thing, you need to really have a bit of treatment there and whatnot. Anyway, so that's getting built. That's now in. These do need to be set to staff only, so I'm just going to double check that. I think it is fine, but I always like to double check. Yes, it seems to be fine there. We have got the lawyer unlocked, but we're not going to... We're not actually going to do anything there with them. Let's go over to... We don't, we don't need to hire them, I don't think. We've got small cells, which we don't need. Permanent punishments, which we don't need. And we're not going to get death row, and we don't need legal prep. So that's fine. That's actually something I would have thought we'd need, legal prep. Because I would have thought things would have gone a lot worse than they have been. But we've done okay, so 
that's fine. I don't know if anyone's yet used over here. I haven't yet checked. We'll have to keep an eye out there. Let's go over to our intelligence and the informants. I just want to double check if there's any... No, there's not. There's no traits on these low-risk prisoners there. We also want to check out our... Well, a couple of things. Firstly, work. So we've got max jobs there. They're all maxed out. They're fine. That's all maxed out. We don't need to alter any of the distribution. Laundry distribution is fine. Yeah, it's being de deployed there. We've got room quality is on. And you can see the criminal cinemates don't have a quality rating. They just they don't have any rating at all for their cells. But strangely, the rating is good. The psychiatrist improves treatment to criminal sin inmates, which is excellent. And these ones have it, but we haven't got that turned on. Cell status, you can see we've got a couple of people free there. And temperature is the one I was mainly looking at. And yep, that's got good heating all the way around, apart from up here. So that's the bit that I had missed. So let's sort that right out. Objects, ra uh, radiator, place them there and there. And then, hmm, how are we going to place this one? We'll place it in there. That should be fine because, yep, we did run the utilities last episode right across. So that should be fine. So it means that we've got this area and this area to do. So let's go and probably check out the yard then. The yard's going to be a little bit different from the other yards over here because it's a slightly different size. It's actually one shorter, I believe. These yards are, yeah, they're six across where these are only five. So we're going to check our objects and see what we can fit in here. We do have these benches which, quite frankly, fit in absolutely perfect, so they're going in. Let's just place the benches in like so. We'll place two on either side like so, one and then two with a gap of the two there and then we could put the floodlights in do we want to put the floodlights in i do want to put the floodlights in like so and there we go that is that yard pretty much done <laughs> i would like to i would like to build a facility with lots of like hedges and things like that which was sort of what we did last last episode uh, last season rather where we had water we had bridges uh, hedges and all that sort of stuff and it was a very decent looking facility. These signs I've found really no use for. Sims, the doormats. There's a lot of stuff in here that I find that it's just sort of clutter to be honest with you. We have got that test in but I don't know how many for the next one. We've got the flip board as well as the anatomy model. Those are not very expensive but we need 7 and then 17 respectively for those. We also have a gravestone. Gravestone supplied for every death that takes place in your prison. We haven't got one of those but yeah. There you are. And again, it does seem to be, well, with the psych ward stuff, sort of moving away from the original concept. I mean, the whole criminal insane thing, sensitive topic, certainly not treated, I think, with the respect that it deserves, and no experts, certainly, by far, but, yeah. I guess it's always, the game's always been a caricature of things, so, always like a generalisation of many things. The next one, I think, is going to be islands and stuff, so like Alcatraz and things. I'm pretty sure that was teased, so I'm looking forward to that. But there's a lot of stuff that's been added, like, I mean, I can understand some of it. Where, where is it? I'll have to expand it. I mean, this this is just beyond insane now. Look at the size of it. <laughs> I'm going to have to have tabs for each tab now. We've got things like classy windows and lamp like the, the lamp okay fair enough you could say yes it goes in there but the classy windows i don't know and moose head i don't know where that comes from like what why is there is there some film reference that i'm missing must be must be anyway so that's getting sorted there it's still not being built i did clone the one on the left so it's normal cells going to be put in rather than the <laughs> rather than the padded cells you can see that we've got male and prisoner uniforms in each of these so that is perfectly fine although we still are waiting for that to be to be sorted let's knock it up to a little bit faster there i also want to do a i want to do a tunnel search actually it will show you the type of things that we have discovered and we should double check to see where a lot of this stuff's coming from actually so we'll check intelligence last 24 hours so scissors have been nicked from there yet yeah, we knew that was going to happen you can see as soon as we go through these metal detectors they get discovered cell phone was stolen from the psychiatrist and then all of the other stuff like the dangerous like screwdrivers and knives and 
things was just brought in and found there. So there you go. Could do another shakedown. See if we can search the rest of it. The problem is it does take regular guards to do it. And because we, well, we are staffed for the most part by orderlies, that's where we have a bit of a problem. But there you are. So, Lunar Prison coming on quite nicely. It's been nice to do a different biome. Although it doesn't... It's just a, It's just really the tile set. And it makes it look a bit different. And to be fair, we've built over it. But we've got all this sort of sci-fi looking stuff with the Utani walls and the, the flooring and all the metal and that sort of thing. And with the added challenge with heating. It's currently autumn, overcast, minus two degrees... So you probably want to put a jacket on at this stage. Although, perhaps not too. Certainly, if you've got your sleeves rolled up, you want to you pull those down. The cell block here is almost complete. Obviously, we haven't run any of the utilities, so we'll see how we go there. I'm going to keep this search running because I really just do want to finish that off. In terms of our prison capacity raised to 100, this will be that getting done now. Feeding all prisoners is underway. I'm going to double check. Yes, there is a well-fed status along there, so that is good. I'm going to check grading and we can see that health is still at minus two. Reoffending rate has dropped to 33% though. Four have been paroled early. And we've had one death in custody, sadly. No staff fatalities. And I'm pretty sure our prison value just went down by 10 grand, but there you go. And that's probably because something's on fire. I've just received word that the prisoners are unhappy with how much time they have to work during the day and are planning to cause trouble if it isn't reduced. A guard overheard someone say that if they had to work more than two hours, they were going to tear this place apart. I'm going to stop the, sh uh, the search and the shakedown there. And why is there a visitor coming along here? What? And they're going out that way. I think it is because their preferred direction is this one. That's for the visitors. But when they leave, they come out. And then because that... <laughs> because that's set to that way, they can't go back over on it. So we did have this problem in the previous series. And the way we got around it is by doubling up on it. We doubled up on it. Whereas, at the moment, well, it's just a hindrance. This one is probably going to be the same thing. Yeah, you need you need to double up on it. You need to have a a double walkway, and then that generally fixes it because they'll follow that way. Whereas, as it is now, it's working one way and then the other way, not so much. Let's see what happens here with Gaskin. And his father. See which way Gaskin's father goes. So, I'm having a little chat. That's all working. And we'll see them leave. And they're now going back the way they should. That's fine. Probably going to have a problem with this side, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when I'm coming with Not that we can do anything about it, you understand. It's just how it is. Uh, so, I was going to check temperature... That's all fine. I also want to check our utilities and the connections to see... Yep, those are definitely connected up. Phone taps are connected up to there because now that we have some regular prison, non criminally insane inmates, yeah, we want to make sure we can listen in and get any traits. There's some fighting. Seems to be the dog that always seems to get hit as well. I just thought, I don't think I've put the phone booths in that side. I'll have to check. Just waiting for the workers to finish off this side. Once that's done, it is pretty much do that side. We're also going to receive 23 criminally insane inmates. And one more cell to be completed. And that will be a 10, no, a 20 grand payment. So what I'll do, actually, I'll decrease our bank loan, because we might as well. Uh, well ten, it'll be a 20 grand payment, followed by, probably, we'll pick up another grand. 
we'll keep an eye on this cell block C because we're on 99 of maximum safe capacity so it's just one of these the bottom down there to be completed one little bit and then it's done and then it's sorted just trying to make sure we've got the bank loan going down you can see because of the amount of shop shelves in there just how much they have to work in order to sort that out and they're still the selling stuff as well so a lot of this will be sold and then I'll have to restock the shelves so it's like laying the track in front of the train <laughs> anyway so it does say reduce the work hours to less than two I haven't done it you may notice that's because criminally insane don't work and because it's programs for them that should be fine well in theory there are no free cells for this prisoner Ooh. Nope, there should be. No, criminally insane 61, criminally insane capacity 60. Ah, right. So, what has happened is what we've seen in the previous series. One of the regular non-criminally insane prisoners has gained the criminally insane trait and now we have nowhere for them to go which is a problem so I'm going to go over to intake and close off criminally insane this is the only thing we can do and then I will also reduce actually I'll close the intake but what I'll do is once this cell is completed I'll change one of those to criminally insane like a padded cell and then that'll be sorted. And I really wish they'd crack on with this and get it done because it's just that cell. There's the bed. That should be it done and with all grants. There's your grants. There's your 20 grand. There's that now completed. Over to grants. Pick up cell block D. Reduce our bank loan. Go over to rooms and then padded cell. And designate that as padded cell. Which means there is a, pers a place for that person to go. Which is... Fine, although now there's now now there's fifty nine criminally insane <laughs> inmates because they tend to teleport out of there. We forgot about that, they'll tell the whole teleporting thing. Change it back to cell then and go over to intake, fill capacity, low risk prisoners, and let's sort out the utilities. So over to the water boiler. First things first, place that in there and in there. The door is in, it just doesn't show, so that's fine. So they're in there, that's all connected. We'll then go to hot water. Naturally, same thing again. Get all that connected. We've done this. Well, this will be the fifth time we've put this in, so all standard procedure. We know what we're up to. The radiators we certainly don't need in each one. That has been pointed out. It's just how we've went about it. Just how we've went about it. And then small pipe also needs to be ran, which is similar. But because we've only got, I think it's 12 workers, it still takes quite some time to get this done. So, that's now in. Rest of it's done. We'll be placing all of that. Common room. Actually, no. No, 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 no. So there is our minsec all set across. Staff only, top and bottom, extra rooms there. Luckily, or oh, strangely actually, some of these have been set. Some of these have moved. I'm also going to check. No, we can't recruit. I don't think you can recruit criminal inmates to be confidential informants. I'm pretty confident that just can't happen. But anyway. Let's go over to utilities, connections, phone tap, and... Connect all of those up. We don't need to connect those up because the criminal incident inmates don't have any traits that we'll need to figure out and find out by listening in on the phone booth. And also, because we have it on criminal incident only, they're not going to go there. So that is fine. There's our snow. It's currently... Oh, no, it's rain. And it is still autumn there. One degrees. But very shortly, it will be hitting winter, no doubt. 
no doubt. Back over to our deployment and then patrols. We're going to set a magenta patrol in here and this will be a standard guard. We have a standard guard in there. We have orderlies in the other one. We could probably double up on them actually. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Because we've had times where, sadly, there's been things like that. Prisoner here has kicked off and we haven't had the the people staffing it. They've been elsewhere, so that should probably do. We're going to double check our programs. Education reform on the go. Behavioral therapy. I can only run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How, why can we only run an odd number? Eh? Oh, because one of them is doing alcoholics group therapy. That's why. Okay. <laughs> Pharmacological treatment, one in the queue, worth doing. Loads of parole hearings, that's fine. Spiritual guidance, couple on the go there. And, oh yeah, we should really put some more psychiatric consultations in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be fine for now. Workshop safety, no. The other one, no. And guard taser, we're not rolling out, so that is fine. Okay, that is excellent. So let's just build one of these common rooms. The question is, is it the same size as this? I don't think so. We could probably clone that though. Let's go to quick build cloning. Let's uh, just assume that, let's assume that we're going to clone that. It would fit in. So we will make it so. Because it's pretty much what we need. That is fine. The radiator we will move and the pool table we'll put in here. Put two pool tables in. I know it's going to go against the wall but I think it's worth it. And just because we can, put a wide sofa in there. <laughs> and there we are. The radiator I'll move to there. Oh, you know what? I no, no, I don't, I don't like the pool tables against the wall if we can if we can manage it which we can we'll, re we'll reto rotate that round and we'll probably put some more sofas in there there's certainly too many weights benches far too many the lighting is also an issue but we'll sort that out but basically once we've got that that's it we're done let me turn on intake criminally insane there's early release we'll double check our grading reoffender is jumping right down but that's to do with the low risk prisoners bringing down the average but yeah there's, there's still something either I'm completely missing or something funky going on with that there there we go yeah, there's still something, I think, funky going on when it comes to the... Hang on. How the food tray got there? It wasn't even built when they were eating. Uh, yeah, there's still something funky going on with the... Prisoners and, like, the leaving and that sort of thing. Place a wide sofa to there. And place... That there. I'll put some lighting in. So I don't know what's going on there. When the prisoners are like leaving and such. Do I need more lighting in here? We've already got lighting in there. Because we've only had this. We've seen prisoners leave. But then we've also had times when they know. Uh, we, but like it says, there's, there's prisoners. It's saying, you know, you can receive five prisoners more. And you look at the grading and it was like one prisoner's being released. So I don't know where the rest have teleported to. I mean, did they build that food tray with the clone? It's unlikely. <laughs> it is unlikely. As well as say as well, this is a very clean prison. There's very f little dirt, but that's because we turned on one of the modifiers, one of the mutators, to to do sp specifically for that to make it. I think it was dirt is halved essentially. The amount of dirt you get is halved. But basically, that is this facility. So on review, I think overall. We've done quite well. We have... The original intention was to start with a... 100% criminally insane facility. 
on the lunar landscape. Not that it does much with weather on. We turned on the mutator for... Quick look. Extras. Mutators. We've turned on the mutator for reduced dirt buildup, and that's the only mutator we've got. So that's the challenges. Uh, we've got events on. We haven't got gangs. We have got weather and temperature. We haven't got staff needs. But we have got randoms and that sort of thing on. We originally built this. The original idea was to have common room either side, visitation there, separate canteens in the centre connected to the cell blocks with a decentralised kitchen which I think has worked. Apparently this is just the bacon cooking kitchen. I think that's worked. Although they have to walk further. <laughs> Thankfully the game's calculated that it seems and we don't have any big problem with them having to walk. Rotate flip and there you go. Hoping they don't demolish the walls to put it back in. They shouldn't. But you never know. So yeah, we've managed to build all of these. We have obviously treatments. We have a slightly different yard layout. We've got the bleachers with the lights in there. And then we built up to here. We added some solitary in. We then expanded to the left. Put in these two cells. Got in some non-criminally insane low-risk prisoners. Which has been a bit disruptive. It's it, it's. I don't think it's caused more problems than it's solved because... It's the only problem really was the one one inmate that was ex law enforcement and snitch, I think. One of those traits anyway, and they got targeted because some of these some of these community inmates do have like volatile and that sort of thing anyway, so that's what happened there. We don't have any protective custody, sadly. It wasn't really planned originally, so we didn't build on that one. But the, now that they're in, they are working in the shop, the library, the the mail room. We are doing the classroom stuff, the key teaching. So because of that, statistically, the reoffending rate is going down. If this was split into grading between low risk and the criminal insane limits, I think we'd probably find that to be a bit different. In terms of our programs we're running obviously a lot of programs we've got behavioral therapy now pharmacological treatment alcohol exclusive therapy all the paroles and spiritual guidance and the psychiatric consultations all that's been run obviously it is quite an expensive facility to run because of all of the treatment but that is sort of the point it's a very very secure facility because there's very few places where we can get contraband from it can't be thrown over the wall it can't be smuggled in if it's metal because of the metal detectors there and the metal detectors are here. So if anything is nicked from mainly the treatment areas or the library and such, then it gets detected. The... I guess the takeaway is... Is it worth building a mixed criminally insane slash other prisoner facility or 100%? I found it very fun having it 100 percented because there were certain limitations that you had to well for me discover and then work around i think it's easier if you mix them because then you can have them working let's just double check needs you can see luxury needs looks to have gone down i think although that might have just be it that might have just changed because we now have more prisoners so the bars <laughs> lengthened but needs are getting sorted uh, needs are getting looked after so yeah. Oh, and also this work demand less work. We haven't even touched that. No, demand less work. I think you'll find we didn't do that, but none of the prisoners really care. Either way, have enjoyed the series, and that was quite interesting. We will leave it there for this series. What would I change? Very little. Anything we needed to change, we changed. I don't think I'd change much up at all. We do have this bit down here. We don't have any patrols. I'm not really too worried about that. We have got dog patrols around there. So that's fine. Doing regular shakedowns. And Ooh. Oh. Okay. So we have a couple of prisoners. Coming in insane. Who are fighting the Audleys. Wow. And they are trying to sedate Redmond there. Paul Redmond. Looks like he's on a bit of a an attacking spree, taking out the hidden spiritual leader. 
I mean, I'll go guard response, but I don't think it's going to do much because we need Audley's to take care of them. And Richard Venny's attacking as well, who is a low-risk prisoner. I brought them in, the guards, but they're not doing anything. Oh, because that guard's tired. No, no, they are searching them now. Wow. Well, just as we sort of ended it, it's sort of heating up. This is one of the, I guess, innate issues that this is quite interesting to see and as the agitation level goes up they get more interesting to but well, they, they have different um, reactions and have uh, different behaviors which I think is quite interesting to see but at the same time that's the thing you're trying to avoid so you don't want to willfully neglect their needs and their treatment in order just to see like oh, it just doesn't feel right Anyway, I was saying yes. What would it change? Pretty much nothing. Uh, maybe, maybe some slight layout changes. Maybe some alterations, tiny niggles here and there. But pretty much no. I think it's. I think it's what we originally set out to make, and we've made it, and it works. It, it works very well. In terms of expansion, I know there'll be some requests to expand. We're not going to expand. Uh, rule that out right at the beginning. I didn't think it was worth it. I still maintain that anything we build on from here would just be for the sake of expanding. I'm actually going to put a walkway along here, just so they can go around. <laughs> yeah. Where could we expand to? Top and bottom, pretty much impossible, because we never did that a means of massive overhaul in order to get stuff at the top and bottom. There's the one saying that can now work, which, you know, I should probably tell them that actually that is the case already. Um... Can, we can expand to the left, but it'll just be adding the same same stuff in, just more prisoners. On the right, same thing again. There's probably some argument to be made that we could maybe add some different variations of prisoner, so some, some high risk, some death row. None of that really fits the original design. I mean, adding in these prisoners doesn't really fit with it. This one, certainly. Then that one, obviously, expansion of scope. Anything beyond that would be getting a little bit problematic. And the further away we go from here the more problems we will experience when it comes to distribution of food. But, there it is. Not a bad one at all. Looking forward to doing some extreme testing on this one, as well as trying to escape from it, but we'll see what happens in pre uh, in next episodes. In terms of series, obviously we'll fire up another build series. Not entirely sure what that's going to be, what it will entail, and that sort of thing. By all means, let me know in the comments if you have any sort of thoughts and opinions and preferences on that one. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the series. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.